Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome back to our channel. <clears throat> we have officially cleared the energy of these attachments, these stalkers, cyber bullies, all different types, shapes, forms of creatures <laughs> that have been um, finding their way to this sacred space by way of um, interacting with other people, okay? So I have a couple messages for whoever this is whoever this is meant to resonate for you can have Taurus placements anywhere in your chart <clears throat> the channel message that i got for you is that someone is going to be coming in to apologize about the way something happened or the way something went down between you and them this part is very specific but someone here there's two things going on someone here let's just let's just start here there's someone here that has a ex or someone that's connected to them that watches you on a regular okay Taurus and when they watch you I feel like they watch you because they found out about you that this that whoever you were talking to dating wasn't never really over you They've never gotten over you. They've always felt like you guys were meant to be. And even though you're coming through as a very single, independent Torian, um, you still have some someone in your energy that is jealous and envious of you. They go away and then they come back. For some of you, it's a... It's an actual parent. For others of you, it's a romantic tie that you share with someone. And that person is curious about why your ex won't pop the question or move to a higher level of commitment. And they're convinced that it's because they're probably still not over you. And so that person, those third party people have been researching you looking you up online trying to figure out um what's so great about you Taurus that has the people that they want to move forward with stuck on you okay so they've been studying you watching you trying to figure out get some type of receipts that it's actually over between you and them and um and that they can move on with their life and they can have the, your your ex or or your person. Take it how it resonates. It's key, it keeps flipping and flopping, okay? So, like I said, there's going to be someone that's coming in to apologize to you, Taurus. Um, so, this message is going to be specifically for those of you that may tend to unnecessarily sacrifice yourselves for other people. You're... At face value, they underestimate you. They think that you're gullible, um, that you're easily bought, easily tempted, or swayed to any type of, like, whatever they give you, you'll just see that into fruition, right? Because that's, that's the neck. That's Torian energy. So when someone gives you something, they feel like you're a great investment because there's an infinite supply of abundance while at the same time, you'll continue making sure that that legacy lives on even after they're gone. So long-term investment, you are looking like the better option, okay? However, I feel like there's two scenarios, there's two paths that are being split right now because of some type of decision that was made. For some of you, this person played the game like this, um... Here, nah, nah. All right, someone could be a a singer, a pastor. I don't who sing. No, it's your business. Do whatever you want to do, but if it don't work out, here's what you ought to do. Just hold on. So they could be like a gospel singer. Change is coming. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. We have uh, 
I keep picking up 1988 again. Judgment, King of Pentacles. Okay, the Fool. Mm. Out of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so Spirit wants me to start with start with the download first and then we'll jump into the other third party energies okay so this person that um someone is being brought to you and i can't quite figure out if it's being brought to you um by someone that's observing in the spirit in the spirit to tell you about someone's intention like i feel like you have a little birdie in your ear and this birdie is like your person Okay, and your person is putting you up on game, letting you know who's good for you and who's not good for you. And the reason why they're your person is because you guys are on the same. Um, you you guys are you share a soul connection. So separate from all the other ties that you can create, you guys share like you are one soul that's been split, but you guys always incarnate together. Okay. So in some way, one of you will be extremely empathic, psychic, even gifted. And the other person, they also are very clairvoyant and gifted as well. They may be work. They can work in jobs like investigation, police officers, military, lawyers, anything that allows them to use their senses. Right. Hell, a vet even, you know, read a room read the crowd you get what i'm saying so you guys would be placed in like two different career fields but you guys do the same thing you guys have the same gifts now one of the one of you will be the more protective person okay the one not to necessarily stop you from doing what it is that you need to do but to pretty much save your ass every time you find yourself in a situation that um, could potentially hurt you. That's what they're there for. To make sure you don't actually, like you may go through things, but you ain't going to die. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's kind of where they come in is to make sure that you don't, you don't get ejected out of the matrix without, without them. Okay, you guys have to leave together. You came into the matrix together and you're going to leave out of the matrix together. Now, we got that out the way because I feel like that is an energy that is also present and also a voice um, in your ear. Okay. Sending you gems, helping you see, read between the lines. Um, now, the fragments of this person, right? the pieces of this person, right? Think of it like bones. There are bones that have been like layered all over the matrix, right? And you, this person and you have been collecting those bones to put the pieces back together. Kind of like the Osiris energy. You're putting the, the parts of your fragmented selves back together. That's been your journey. It's what spirit is showing me. Okay, but the reason why you both are equal is because it's not like one person is trying to put the other person back together because you guys love each other. It's not going to work that way. You guys would just have two unvibrationally. You'll have pretty much karmic, karmic creations, okay, <clears throat> or low density creations. Hmm. But what this is saying is that you both have had to put the pieces of yourselves back together. Okay. So y'all both equally sacrifice yourselves unnecessarily for others. Like I said, y'all are one soul. And so they want to make you aware about a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. All right. And in order to make you aware about this person, they had to tell you a little story. You see the three people in here? Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Because someone had you on a wheel. Someone had you right where they thought they were going to, right where they thought they were going to, like, right where, right where they wanted you. And I feel like this is the person that you're being forewarned about that's coming in to apologize to you. This person did two things. For some of you, this is someone that was trying to speed up your spiritual development so that you guys can be a, vib a vibrational match for each other. Okay, the second thing that this person did. Hmm, they was told by some type of psychic medium or something like that, that you have to reach a certain life purpose status before they could be in a relationship with you, before they can have um, a future with you. And so I feel like this person sent chaos to you. They sent drama to you. So you could see for yourself. Okay, whoever this person is, they are of some sort of high status, whether that be through their career or in spiritually ranked, okay? This person um, believes that if they got you to see things, if they got you to see just how, just how bad that spiritual path could be, you would turn away from it. If they could get you to see just how bad the material or the real world is or the material world is, that you would get bored of it, you would get tired of it. Um, whatever lifestyle you wanted, they wanted you to see for yourself just how unstable that job would be, that life purpose would be, the lifestyle was going to be, and they felt like they, they didn't need to tell you it. They needed you to see on your own that you would eventually choose to turn away. You would eventually choose to walk away if you could just see. Huh. And then once you saw it for yourself, then y'all could live like this happily ever after. So I'm hearing big mistake, okay? I'm hearing pretty woman walking down the street, pretty woman, big mistake. So at some point, you and this person was a vibrational match or you and someone was a vibrational match until this person did this. It set, it set a will, a karmic will in motion and now a debt has to be paid. And it has something to do with someone's subconscious intentions. Now karma's involved. And once karma's involved, there ain't no, you got to pay the piper. Okay. The karma's going to come to collect. One way or another. Channel messages for Taurus. You got the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles with Judgment. Damn. So we have the King and um, the King and Queen of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Hold on now. Okay. So you were told about this already. That's what spirit is showing me. You were told about this already. And like your intuition told you about this. You were spiritually told about how this was going to play out. Okay. I feel as if you, you went through something and you fell for someone. They, they were fickle with you. And they did some type of reverse psychology on you they did something to reverse something so that way you would be left feeling like you were depleted you would be left feeling as if you were holding the bag and they would walk away from the situation feeling so much better like they got you to invest they got your attention and now you're blocked out you can never be you're on the outside of this family someone was trying to make you jealous make you feel as if you missed out on the opportunity had you invested in them properly had you not ran away walked away or something like that you would be living the life that someone else is getting or someone else have has 
but it wasn't enough for this person to to just be happy with their lot you get what i'm saying like they got the girl they got the guy they got the house they got the lifestyle whatever it is that they felt like you would want they went and acquired it right but they just couldn't quite handle the fact that you weren't hurt by it like you were happy for their investment they wanted you to feel like oh man i wish that it was me they wanted you to waste your wishes on 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 missed opportunity but the ten of swords is saying you didn't re you didn't receive it like that You saw it like, well, this person is where they want to be. And the truth of the matter is this person isn't where they want to be. They wanted you in that home with them. They wanted you in that lifestyle with them. They didn't want whoever that they, they, they chose or they picked. And now they feel like they have no choice but to settle for what they have right now. You get what I'm saying? But the reason why this is all showing up, and I see it now, it's because huh? You didn't want to compete. You weren't you weren't gonna plant your seed in a, in, in, a, in a field. That's already being managed. Okay, that's already being. Yeah. That's already being managed or looked after or um, overseen by someone else. You didn't want that. It was like they got it. Whoever this man or woman is, they got it. I wish y'all well. So you saw it as a, a foolish investment. To put yourself in a situation where you would be competing for someone that already won. You get what I'm saying? Someone already made their choice. And so this opened your, your heart chakra. This opened your vortex. So now you can manifest anything that your heart desires. And this person is looking back like, what? I, that was not my intention for Taurus to walk away feeling even happier than they did going into the situation. You get what I'm saying? It was supposed to hurt, not not make you feel liberated, not make you feel whole, not make you feel like you can move on and manifest the, your the world. OK, um, and this is this person's subconscious desire, subconscious thoughts. It's like, oh, okay, well, since that person has moved on and they're happy, I'm happy for that person. Now, let me go off and find, let me go off and live my life. Thank you. I feel like you gave yourself closure. This person was trying to leave you with unfinished business, like unresolved issues, no closure, no explanation. Um, they wanted to irritate you. This is like a way of someone putting spiritual ants in your pants. <laughs> you know, like you don't even know why you itching. Someone wanted you to someone wanted you to submit to their demons, like their emotional distress. And they were only left with the sleepless nights. This was, this was an attempt. This was a hit. Okay, this was a hit to take you out, honey. They were even telling a third-party person, like, oh, I don't want to be with that person. They just can't get over me. And so I just talk to them occasionally just so they don't try to wish me ill will or do something crazy to me that's someone lying so they're lying to this third party person and painting you to be some type of aggressor painting you out to be i'm seeing that there's multiple people doing this some of y'all have a baby daddy 
a baby mama that's telling their new boo or something like that. They're telling them that um, the reason why they, um, what is it? What is this saying? Well, they're pretty much saying to this new this new boo or something like that is the reason why they still talk to you or the reason why they still um, show up when you call or ask for something or whatever is so that way they don't be put on child support or that they don't be called for something. And that new boo that they're talking to, is looking at you, Taurus, like you need to move on and get a life. This is a this is a good guy. This is a good girl. This is a good man. This is a good woman. And so based off whatever that person, um, a baby mom, a baby dad told to that that new boo or something like that whatever based off whatever they said that new boo is, is is insecure a little bit because they feel like it's nothing's not adding up someone someone's story isn't adding up they feel like ultimately the truth is that this person wants to get get you back or get back with you always want to get back with you they're never not invested because it's a contradiction. How can someone say that they pride themselves so much on family and having a home and, and talk about all the things that they got for their family and to maintain their home and all those other things? And um, but they won't marry someone else. You know what I'm saying? They won't start a new family. Whoever that third party person is, they're catching on like. So you you have this house, you have this stability, you have all these resources because you're holding on to it as safe keepings and for somebody to come back. And so every day that this new boo invests, I don't care if it's bringing someone coffee in the morning or offering rides, you get what I'm saying? Or bringing them food that they cook from home and, and dropping it off. Every time that this person only beds them or only deals with them in a certain particular way it's just giving this person confirmation that um this person has no intention of building with them they want to build just not with them so that's for one situation and um so I feel like they're milking it as well at this point or they're about to start milking it I feel like within a month this person is going to be like really looking at this person very strange I'm hearing come inside don't even listen to that and then you have this second situation where their third party has found out that they invested in you and the ten of swords they just woke up one day and never heard from you again. Walked away. Mm hmm So they're stuck on you, manifesting you. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to keep some type of karmic from finding out some type of truth. This is someone that cheated on the person that they're with. And if they haven't cheated physically, they have been cheating in their dreams and um, astral traveling, projecting themselves into your reality tours. Hmm. <clears throat> so they're either cheating spiritually or they've cheated physically. And they just don't want whoever that they're dealing with to find out because they know that whatever they find out, they're going to walk away. And so that third party is suspicious because they feel like, why are you so concerned about 
keeping Taurus and this third party person away from each other. And it's because someone's picking up on their intuition. They're like, nah, something, you're way too defensive. You're way too guarded in regards to this Taurus energy. And someone's like, it's just because I want to protect you. And so another person is calling bullshit in a situation. Taurus, I want to I wanna tell you this firsthand. You have caused a ruckus in, in all of these glass houses, okay? You have caused... They scared. They scared, Taurus. I don't know. They scared. They scared they're going to get kicked out of their homes. They scared that they are going to lose everything. They're scared of you. I'm hearing boo. Something about by, um, by Halloween, they scared. They scared of what's about to come to them. I'm hearing someone say, I'm not scared. Somebody's scared. Okay. These past connections that's been reminiscing and wishing that you guys could have, we could have been. Spirit is putting them on blast, okay? Page of Swords watching. Fake accounts pretending like they're not watching. And for others of you, you have not only are they watching, but the people that they're involved with that either know about you or what you do or however. They could have felt like they were just being honest and telling, like, just sharing. Some way, somehow, there's an entanglement here. All the all the cords, like spirit had to unplug all that shit. Do, 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 do. And it's like now we're unraveling the wires, the lines of communication. And before we plug anything back in, it's going to be a valuable outlet. Otherwise, it's a it's a drain. It's a dud. And it's gonna blow a fuse because we're talking about incompatible power out like power. We have a power outage. Something about a power outage is significant. Next thing you know, hmm. Someone's too flaky. Spirit, why is the why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? That's what I need to know. Before I say anything else, I need to know. Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now this could be both your energy. Like your masculine masculine energy could have been feeling a little off. And your feminine energy was keeping it together for the both of you. Alright. Or this are, this is you and your person. Alright, we have harmony. Alright, so there's a seesaw. Judgment. When you're unsure about your intuition, someone will place themselves in a line of fire. And when they place themselves in a line of fire, they expose all their fragments. So what I'm what they're telling me is that all of these pieces or all these connections that you've met, they're the fragmented aspects of your person's soul. And so when you're unsure about what someone is hiding, what they're concealing, how they're lying to you, your divine counterpart will, will vibe at a level that will allow you to see very clearly into every other fragment connected to them. So no one connected to them could ever lie to you. Mask in reverse, mask off. This is their way of bringing you peace, balance, and harmony. In any situation that may, any, anything that's emotional, um, connected to other people's demons, unresolved, unresolved shadows with the moon here, lust, broken dreams, they're going to put you up on game. 
so you can see for yourself and you can move on with the quickness without having to say anything to you directly okay so any situations where you feel like people were one minute you were talking next minute they didn't say anything and you thought it was going to be a good thing i feel like you're meeting like i said six of cups past life fragments you're, you're meeting aspects of this person's sunlight all right because this is the moon which means if the moon is over here then you're seeing you're basking in the sun a lot is being illuminated to you not that you need healing from this situation it's to bring exposure to what's what's hiding behind these false these false um false fragments of them okay we have gossip rumors nosy sipping tea and they're not going to like it and what you're also showing these fragments of this of your of your divine counterpart soul is um oh. When you expose those fragments, you allow you allow um, your divine counterpart to reflect, introspect on different things about themselves, aspects about themselves that they either do or don't like or are unable to see for themselves. And this is why y'all are very compatible um, because you don't have to live a double life. This person allows you to see into their bullshit. And it's not their bullshit specifically, but it's the fragments of them, the aspects of them. And so it allows them to, <laughs> I keep repeating myself, okay? Because I have to say it. Spirit has to make me say it over and over again so I get it, okay? Repetition. Um, so this person pulls themselves up their own cup of tea, their own cup of coffee, okay? And they will sip. This is how they, they, they look into the mirror, Tarot is a mirror. Mm -hmm. And so you are this person's muse. Yeah. You will probably encounter a lot of this, a lot of their... This isn't someone that has to go out there and go do all these different things. Like, they don't have to go out there and become a baby mama, baby daddy. They don't have to go out there and meet people, date everybody in the world. No. They reflect. Right? And then what is reflected with this moon energy, they take that information in and they heal it. And I feel like that's why I was picking up on the surrender to someone saying, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to kind of, like, you know, drop this bomb on you, tell you all this stuff, let you see all of this. And I'm sorry if it hurts, but you have to know the truth. Someone is saying that you, they wanted you to know the truth. And it's also because they want you, they want to help you speed up your development so you can trust your judgment, your intuition, your clairvoyance. And so it's like a crash course, right? Not for their own selfish reasons, but for your own intuition. Because again, a lot of these, they're pretty much telling you, I know all my demons and you're meeting all my demons like face to face. And so when you meet this divine, when you meet this counterpart, when you meet this vibrational counterpart, you would have come in contact with all, there's no trick that this person could play on you, fool you with, deceive you with, because you would know when to walk away, when to stay, because you would have encountered all aspects of them. You would put healthy boundaries. You wouldn't allow them to... And I feel like the reason why I feel like the reason why you have to know all this is because this person has two sides to them. If you let them, they will never cheat on you. But if you let them, they will. Um, I don't feel like they would cheat on you, but I feel like if you let them. They're easy at getting people to like do things right because rumor here it's making me think of the umbrella academy and when she would be like i heard i heard a rumor x y and z and she would get people to do things 
if you don't know how to have firm boundaries with these fragments, then when you come across them, you would be like sipping your own tea. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And it's like being with yourself, okay? So let's talk about it from a more mundane level. If you didn't go off and, and meet all these different people and have these different situations or whatever, would you date you? You get what I'm saying? Like, think about it, Taurus. Would you date you? So imagine dating someone that is just as charming as you, just as as um just as vain as you just as fickle as you you know what i'm saying but it's it's healed it's more mature but even from that standpoint to be equal matches with each other where one isn't dominating the other y'all both have to be responsible for yourselves this person can't tell you everything you need to be able to read between the lines and know for yourself and so in order for this new opportunity to come in, you had to heal. You had to go in and do your research. And a lot had to be shown to you in the spirit so you know how to alchemize it. And this is how this person's been teaching you. It's not a it's not a no, it's not the end of the world. It's a surrender to the lesson, the experience, two of cups. Yes. It's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. And this is also a way for you to say no. Like you don't need to be afraid to tell this person no. And the only way you would, you would feel comfortable and confident to tell this person no, especially at this status, at this vibration, is if you have been practicing how to tell everybody else no. And so you know when you tell someone no, you know how they're going to react. <laughs> okay. They may walk away for a while. And they may leave, but they'll be back. They'll be okay. You know, they're not going to be able to uh, throw a wool over your head and, and paint you false promises or get you off of your routine. And you won't feel no type of way when they take time to themselves. And come back around. I can guarantee you one thing. One thing's for certain, honey. They gonna always be back. I don't care how much this person tries to make you. All oh, right, cast this spell. Like, oh, they have many options, or create this deprivation, or you're gonna miss out on something if you don't act on it. It's it's not true. Four of Swords. It's not true at all. The truth is that this person will always have like this desire to want to come back into your life. And when they go out there and they try to, this is not someone, hear me out. The person that I'm talking to you about, they're not someone that's going out there and going, they can't sleep with nobody else. <laughs> okay. That's what Taurus wants to know about. They can't. They can't. You would just be re recycling the same karmics back into your life. But establishing like new connections separate from this person's soul, uh, it wouldn't even happen anyway. You would only be able to frolic and and um, dibble and dabble into those karm those karmic fragments of them because they wouldn't let you sleep with anything else. You know why? Because on some on some level, on some spiritual level, when you deal with those karmics, they they get a taste of you. <laughs> That's what I see here. That's what I see. Or hell, they possess those karmics and experience you just for a little bit. <laughs> Until y'all ready to talk again. What in the married couple is going on here? This is what you call spiritually married. <laughs> in the spirit. <laughs> I'm serious. Mm -hmm. So you frustrated. 
you're playing chess not checkers honey you're frustrated so someone knows when you when you get in this queen of swords energy with the hermit and the hangman it's because someone's about to reach out to you mm -hmm. they know that you're bored they've held back long enough They've held back communication long enough, and they're about to reach out to you and make it right and apologize. Oh, I'm so sorry I got held up. X, Y, and Z. That's the emperor for your ass. That's for sure. I was held up working. Emperor and empress. It's busy bees, okay? And um, that y'all going to start a new chapter. That's what I see. I mean, is this person going to have something, like, nice for Taurus? Like, is this going to be, yes, remain very, yes, hopeful. Follow your dreams. Make up your mind. Believe in yourself. Someone's going to come in to tell you all those things. Stay inspired. Don't give up. So they're going to reach out to you on a professional tip. All right, just, just. They're trying to delay it as long as possible. That's what they're trying to do. Trying to delay it as much as possible. But when you start doing certain things like getting reckless or feeling like you're drowning or you're giving up, it calls this person in. It just, it just does. It's like you rain. Apology in reverse. They know you're not going to want to hear it. I'm hearing day late, a dollar short. They know that you're not going to want to hear it. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> this person is waiting for a reason. Can we wait for a birthday, a holiday, or a reason to reach out? That's when this person can communicate. It's easier. Do it, it's, it's textbook, okay? Mm -hmm. One thing's for certain. Y'all are, this is strength. So this is definitely saying y'all not gonna give up on each other. Mm-hmm. Y'all will both successfully play this game. Yeah, it's a fun game. <laughs> it's a fun game. Let's get you a closing message. Sheesh. Let's see. Closing message. I think my battery is trying to die. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. I think we're back in business. Closing message. So we have grief in reverse, manifest in reverse. Um, so pretty much this is like getting over past failures, past lovers. Um, so your closing message is that you're over it. You're over whatever chapters that needed to be closed, whatever was in your subconscious, like, you know, why didn't that work or why didn't this work or was I supposed to do this right or not do this right? You went through that chapter already of closing those doors. Um, it had to be, this had to be done properly so you can move on. You get what I'm saying? So now that that part is over, this is, this is what was blocking your imagination, your ability to manifest. 
why you were feeling lackluster. It's because you were going through something that you needed to allow this 13 here. So expect a fresh start now that you cleared the air, now that this is out of your life or out of your way. All right, Taurus, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.